WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices trading the upside, all the sectors with inside the S&P 500 doing the same. The Dow's up 159, about a half a percent. Eight tenths for the S&P are 32 points. One percent for the Nasdaq, 130. Four tenths for the Russell, that's six points. Semi's up one and six tenths, that's 50 points. You got gold trading down three bucks at 1970. Silver's up a nickel at 23.47. Lights recruit up a buck 69. She's trading at 69.33. Natural gas off a penny and 30 treasuries, basically flat at 129.29. If we go take a look at the nine panel, Market update chart, we'll see the ES Mini is trading above yesterday's high. That is a bullish signal. It's got an A to B equals C to the upside that's already been completed because it generated a Gartley sell pattern. It did that on the trading session of March the 22nd. Price is trading with inside that swing point. We've been in there for about four or five sessions. Looks to me like price wants to go target that high at 40.73. There's another level that price has to overcome. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Ed show. But with the spot volatility, well below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 21.47. The spot is at 19.40 right now, 19.39. The ES mini of the S&P should continue to rally. The NQ, which has a road's momentum indicator top out there, is just trading sideways. But it is above the top of its profile. It is above its green oscillator and change line. That always says that, hey, may want to go make a move for that 13082 Rhodes momentum indicator top. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It does have a buy the D point pattern out here. Support is at 101.87 resistance, 104.40. Gold. Take a look at the June contract right now. It's got profile support at 1902 to 1939 and resistance up at the 2013 level. So that's a change from when we were taking a look at the April contract yesterday. If we take a look at silver, it's an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It does have a TD nine count top, I believe. I know I know that it does. I'm going to say that uh, silver needs to close above 2370 to tell us that it wants to make that move to 2417. If we take a look at lights we crude, it's made that one to one uh, price objective at uh, the 7413 area. Uh, now you're on the lookout for a bearish reversal candle. That would then confirm a Gartley sell. Short of that, Lights Recruit should go target its next projected level. That's at 76.12. Natural gas still struggling. It's uh, don't have a bottom pattern or bottom signal out here. And I'm sure we'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. If we take a look at the 30-year Treasury, just consolidating between support at 128.10, resistance at 133.29. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you have to start your... Wednesday. Please have a wonderful one, and we we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now. <laughs>